guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's Vlogmas video, I am going to be giving you guys the ultimate gym girl wish list, Christmas list. If you guys are stuck on what to ask for for Christmas, or maybe if there's some boyfriends watching this that want to get some gifts for their girlfriends, or anyone that is into the gym really, because you could just flip this and just do things for a guy as well. It's kind of like very similar. Maybe a couple of the things you wouldn't get a guy, but <laughs> for the most part, it's just a general gym person wish list. I hope you're enjoying the cozy vibes. I just thought that putting a fake fire on would just, you know, really bring the vibes up. I wish I had a real fire but unfortunately flats do not have those <laughs> so i am just gonna get straight into the wish list these are just personally things that i would actually ask for so i thought why not share them with you guys if you are stuck for ideas so the first thing is probably the most important thing in this whole video and what i know that a lot of you guys will be asking for christmas this year and that is gym clothes i know that so many of you guys will have so much on our active on your wish list for Christmas. So make that your top priority on your Christmas list because you can never have enough gym clothes. You can never have enough honor active gym clothes, in my opinion. Like my wardrobes are overflowing and it's, it's never too much. But I just thought I would show you guys some of the colors that are coming in the 12 days of gains advent calendar, the honor active advent calendar. I know that I've spoken about this on my channel already over the past couple of days, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple more colors that will have been revealed after I made the previous video. So we have the current one that I'm wearing, which is mulled wine, but I'm pretty sure I did already show you guys this color. But a color that we have, which is super festive, and literally this will just look good on everyone, is chestnut. And this is obviously coming in the 12 days of Gain's advent calendar. All of the clothes inside the advent calendar will be available to shop on the 12th of December. Unfortunately, the advent calendar is not for sale, but everything inside it and all the colors inside will be available on the 12th. If you have been liking any of the content that I have been putting out and you know showing you guys these colors, if you've got your eye on any of them, make sure you add them to your wish list because these are limited edition. So on the 12th, that is gonna be your early chance to get these pieces and you will not be able to get them again because they are exclusive to the 12 days of gains drop. So that is chestnut. I'm now gonna show you guys a bit of a different one. I'm gonna show you a green because this color will have already been revealed. So we have tea green, which is absolutely stunning it's like a nice light green color and guys we finally have beanies at honor now <laughs> i would highly highly recommend add in one of these to your wish list i will also show you it in the steel blue color so this is the steel blue beanie it is so good it's literally the best quality beanie that i have ever worn i actually bought a um canada goose beanie like a couple of weeks ago and while it is nice it is absolutely not as good quality as these and i can handle my heart say that like i'm not even just saying that because you know i work for honor but these are genuinely such good quality and they have um i don't really know what you'd call this inside the hat but it's kind of like a lining that makes it so much comfier and actually thicker as well so it really like covers your ears and it will also stop you breaking out on your forehead and it'll stop you getting that like really itchy forehead i just feel that my head gets so itchy when i wear beanies which just makes it so uncomfortable i'm always just itching my head and i definitely do not get these with the honor active ones so i highly recommend for the winter time but yeah to sum up the first item on the wish list which is gym clothes that is all i'm gonna say on that if you guys want to shop any honor active my support link is in the description Okay, next up on the list would be supplements. Now, I always say this, but supplements are absolutely not necessary whatsoever. You do not need to take supplements to make progress, and you can still make amazing progress without supplements. I just personally like to take some supplements, just a select few supplements, just to help kind of give me a little bit extra that I might not be getting in my diet. For example, pre-workout, that just gives me a nice little boost before my sessions, and then creatine and glutamine to just help build lean muscle mass as much as possible and make sure that my performance is the absolute best that it can be in the gym. And I have also started taking these Oxy Reds, which I would highly recommend to you guys, by the way. If you guys already take Oxy Greens, I wouldn't really say you need to take both at all, but I just personally love the taste of these so much more. This is in the flavor raspberry, and these are your reds. So it's got beetroot powder and carrot powder. It sounds disgusting, trust me, it does. But I promise you, it actually tastes unreal. It kind, it tastes like the if you've had the raspberry refresh BCAs, it literally tastes like that. There is a tiny bit of aftertaste of like beetroot, but 
genuinely it tastes nice they're nicer than oxy greens in my opinion and i take one one scoop in the morning and it's just a really good antioxidant and it helps with digestion and gut health and it also helps your blood flow like so it supports your blood flow around your body so if you take these before the gym it should give you a really good pump it does with me anyway i like taking them before i go to the gym and then this is my favorite pre-workout from ehp this is the pride pre-workout my favorite flavor ever of the pride pre-workout is rainbow candy i hope that that is sitting under some of your trees because my sessions when I take pride are like the best. I don't take pre-workout every day because I don't want to like build up resistance to it. I want it to still obviously do its job but that means that when I do use it I reap the rewards of it as much as possible and genuinely my sessions when I take pride are unreal and it gives you such a good pump. And then just the basics as I was saying creatine and glutamine as well. So if you guys have been eager to stock up make sure you just add it to your wish list. These are the kind of things that I would be putting on my wish list. And if you guys want to get any money off EHP you can just use my code MIA and that will get you 10% off. And I also feel like this kind of like falls under the supplement category but also vitamins. That is also something that I just hate buying off Amazon when you have to kind of do the bulk buy of vitamins when you've run out ask for some for Christmas and also ask for one of these little vitamin holder thingies. I actually love this so much. I literally take this out of my cupboard every morning and have my, have my vitamins when I have my supplements. I just have it all as one big concoction. <laughs> Not all mixed together, but you know what I mean? So yeah, I bet you could literally get one of these off Amazon for like two pounds. I can't remember where I got this. I think I might have got mine in like boots or something but you can get some for really cheap and they just really help me to take my vitamins and it helps me to not forget on like a sunday i like to just kind of like plan out and put in all my vitamins so it's ready for the week but yeah vitamins all right next up would be a water bottle these are my two favorite water bottles actually do you know what that's actually a bold statement because i don't like this stanley it is not worth the money guys if you can get one of those dupes from amazon or something get that instead of this because this just leaks everywhere and I can't believe I paid £50 or something for it to just leak everywhere like it's really not worth the money but this kind of cup I love this kind of cup and this is now just my home cup because I can't take it anywhere because it just leaks all in my gym bag I used to take it to the gym and it just used to leak everywhere so I now take this to the gym this is my Evolve U bottle I love these ones it keeps my drink cold and it's got the um, sucky thing on the top but yeah I love like a big flask for at home and it just helps me drink a lot more water when I've got like a really big water bottle but then for the gym I take a bit of a smaller one um, with that kind of lid but yeah you can never go wrong with a water bottle all right next up on the list would be gym equipment for example a hip thrust pad mine is just from Amazon this is it says Amanax on it but I think all of the ones on Amazon are just pretty similar to be honest I could definitely get a better quality one um, but I'm not really sure which brands do really good quality ones, but hip thrust pads, straps, I use the Beast Gear straps, um, ankle straps, a bell, I'm trying to think what other equipment there is. Yeah, just any equipment that you've maybe been wanting or you maybe just want to, you know, upgrade your current gym equipment, add that to your list. Usually the gym's equipment and stuff like that is all very manky, so it's nice to just take your own. And I feel like this kind of falls under the gym equipment category but that is a gym bag this is my gym bag it's absolutely massive mine is from built for athletes and as much as i would recommend this bag it is just so big like it's massive i genuinely just look like a ninja turtle or something when i'm walking into the gym with this it does fit a lot in granted like my whole back section has got like loads of equipment it's got my bands in it's got my favorite flavor of pride in <laughs> um it's got my Straps in, these are the straps that I use, as I said, these are from Beast Gear. Um, it's got knee sleeves in it, which is something else that I would recommend asking for as well if you've been wanting to get some. Um, but yeah, that is my like equipment section. And then I have like my camera section, which I oh, don't like to admit this, but I just kind of like throw my cameras in there. Um, what is that? Oh, my scrunchie. <laughs> so big, I lost my scrunchie. Um, I've got a lens in here that I actually need to take out. But yeah, this is actually such a good bag. It is more on the pricey side. I think it was around like £90. Um, but I mean, it's such a good quality bag and obviously you are paying for like a big bag, but this is the smaller size. <laughs> they do like a large and then a small and I got small and it is still huge. But you can never go wrong with upgrading your gym bag for the new year, in my opinion. Next up on the list, we have gym trainers. Please excuse how dirty and horrible these look. 
these are just an example that I just brought up to show you. These are what I wore to the gym this morning. As you can see, these are Converse. I love to wear these on leg days. I have actually just got into such a bad habit of wearing no shoes now when I do leg days, so I don't really care about what shoes I go to the gym in to do leg days, but I went into the gym this morning to do legs in these and I just forgot how much I love them. I have been wearing my Metcons a lot, which would also be on my list if I didn't have them. Um, they're the, I'll put a picture on the screen of the Metcons. I'm not sure if they're in stock anywhere. I know that they're like really popular, um, but they're so, so comfy and lightweight. I love wearing those on upper body days and I would recommend those to anyone, any colorway. I just think they are such a super flattering like gym shoe, I love them. But yeah, this has reminded me that I do actually really need to clean my uh, trainers before the new year. That's something that I need to do, even my normal non-gym trainers. <laughs> Next up guys, this is not just a gym person thing either, this could be on anybody's list, but like a self-help, motivational, empowering, positive book, I'm trying to think of all the words. Um, I've just pulled this one up um, as an example. I haven't actually read this yet, so I can't recommend it, but Holly actually gave me this because I've wanted to read it for the longest time and I've heard the most amazing things about this book. I will let you guys know how I get on with it, but it's basically about, I think it's about like manifestations and I think like apparently after you read it, like your whole perception on life is just different in like a good way, in like a positive way. And yeah, I'm just really excited to read it. I think I might start in the new year because I just keep saying to myself, yeah, I'll read it before I go to bed. And then I never do. So I definitely am gonna make a promise to myself to read this in the new year because I want some motivational, you know, life-changing book to read. <laughs> but even just books that are like motivational, you know, maybe written by people. Chrissy's book is really good. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Do This For You. I recommended that in last year's um, Christmas wish list video. But yeah, books like that of maybe your favorite fitness person that's maybe made a book, something that's really motivational to you personally. I always feel like reading something like that or maybe like an audio book or a podcast or something always just helps to get me in that like really positive headspace which is definitely what we want to start off 2024 and then speaking of hair accessories and i just showed you my scrunchie but that would also be on my list i feel like i would actually love to get this as a present just like a really nice sorry i've got a bit of a fluff on my lip gloss oh, i got it um, I feel like I would absolutely love like, I don't know, just a really big box of like really nice hair accessories, like clips like this, but really nice, pretty, like good quality ones because I just think like hair clips are so cute and I have got a few cute hair clips. You can get them off Amazon or you could maybe like look into some small businesses that maybe do something like this. I would just love to get some some stuff like this if any of my friends or family is watching. I would love that. And you can't go wrong with a scrunchie. I always try and use scrunchies in my hair so it doesn't damage my natural hair. As you guys know, I've got extensions in, but I try and refrain from using like the normal bubbles as much as possible because they do just wreck your hair, especially if you're tying your hair up every single day, like you are just gonna break your hair. So scrunchies and clips are always a good option. Next on the list might be in my top three for sure. I think it goes clothes, supplements, and then this item because I couldn't live without these. And that is headphones. These are my absolute favorite headphones. I love them so much. And I know that they're, you know, so expensive. They're just, you know, they're just ridiculously expensive, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I completely understand if people <laughs> do not want to get these because I got these as a present for my birthday last year from my mum and dad and they, they are just ridiculously expensive but they are really good, I will say that. But I'm just going to recommend headphones in general, it doesn't have to be the Apple AirPods Max, it could be any of your favourite headphones or earphones, it could go with Beats or Bose, just whatever. Whatever you fancy, whatever you want, just headphones in general because I genuinely could not train without headphones it gets me in the zone so much and i just find my sessions are so much better when i have my headphones on with music i'm not speaking to anyone it's just a vibe <laughs> can't be doing with the gym music although my new gym's music is not actually that bad but you know sometimes it's just a bit hit or miss and i would just rather have these bad boys <laughs> they also have noise cancelling so if you want to get any headphones i would recommend that they have noise cancelling because i never thought that i would like need the noise cancelling you know like i didn't think it was 
a big deal, like a game changer, but now that I have it on these, I couldn't go back to non-noise cancelling headphones. I love it so much, it drowns out the gym noise, because usually when I had my old headphones, I think it was just normal AirPods, which obviously don't have noise cancelling. I could hear my music, but I could also just hear the gym's music, and it was just so annoying. And now that I've got noise cancelling, I can just hear my music, it's great. But yeah, headphones, top three for sure. Next on my list, I have Apple Watch, but this can just be like the headphones, any kind of fitness watch that you want. I know, again, Apple Watches are very expensive. I got this <laughs> as a present the year before <laughs> from my family, which I'm very, very grateful for. But I like to use my Apple Watch, not even just for gym wise. I like it to maybe if I don't have my phone on me, I can see what messages I'm getting and stuff. And I feel like it's just nice and sleek and I just like to wear it in the gym. I personally don't track my steps or anything, so I'm, I don't really care about that, but I do track my workouts and kind of track them. You can track them in the Apple Watch as like a weightlifting workout, for example. And it tells you what your heart rate was, how long the workout was, how many calories you've burned, etc., etc. which I do like it for that. But yeah, any kind of fitness watch that you want, that you've got your eye on, especially if you are like a running girly, I feel like running girlies, would really benefit from fitness watches. I know that Garmin's are really good. I'm in a running family, guys. Like, I know all the tech for running, even though I don't run myself. <laughs> I never hear the end of it when I'm at my dad's because my family's are runners. My family's are runners. My family are runners. <laughs> I just never hear the end of it, and I know that Garmin's are good, so I'll recommend that to you for my running girls. <laughs> We're actually moving on to the last item of the wish list, and this may not be applicable to everyone like this is very specific to certain people um but i just thought this kind of like maybe fit into a lot of gym girls i know that you guys like to create content a lot i see you always tagging me in your content so for the last thing on the wish list i would say a tripod slash camera i know that that is a lot a lot to ask for like a full-on camera but if it's something you're really wanting maybe you could see if your family would get you a camera if it is something that you're wanting but yeah camera tripod like anything to maybe help you on your fitness girl content creating journey as i said not everybody wants to create content and stuff but for my girls my gym girls that do want to get into creating content because i know a lot of you do i would recommend getting a tripod this one is the one that i use for my phone this is from amazon um, I will link it in the description because I don't really know what it's called, but this was like £15. Very inexpensive. And then my I, my camera one, I'm filming on my camera right now, that is a different tripod. And it says Prima Photo on it. But I don't know where it's actually from. I don't know if that's the actual brand, but you'll be able to get ones off Amazon or maybe even in store in curries or something. But tripods, cameras, anything that will help you set up your content creating journey, add it to your wish list. You never know who might want to just really treat you this Christmas. <laughs> But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I feel like it wasn't that long, but I put something on my story the other day asking if you guys would want to see a video like this, and you were all like, yes, we do want to see one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope that it has, you know, helped you adding things to your wish list and helped you create your wish list for Christmas. But yeah, I will try and link as many things down below as possible, and my support links for EHP and Honor will also be in the description, as always. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye!